you guys, today's video is going to be my everyday makeup routine because yesterday I was scrolling through my YouTube videos and I've noticed that most of my looks are pretty neutral so I thought that why not make an everyday makeup look that is a little bit extra but still falls on the natural side anyway, thank you so much to Innisfree for sponsoring today's video and I can't believe I just said that because Growing up, I'm really huge fan of Innisfree. If you haven't heard of them, Innisfree is a Korean cosmetics brand. They both have skincare and makeup, and it is a very eco-friendly brand. I always admire their minimalist and aesthetically pleasing products, so make sure to check them out. Okay, so before I do my makeup, I always prep my skin because the better the skin looks to begin with, the better the makeup will look smooths the skin for an even foundation or concealer application because if you put makeup on dry skin, it will just look cakey. Also, it's very hot here in the Philippines and even though you're just at home, the UV rays from the sun could definitely damage your skin because some UV rays could pass through windows and that could definitely worsen your hyperpigmentation or your dark spots. So it is really a must to wear sunscreen and other protection to protect your skin and at the same time it treats your dark spots so for that i used the innisfree brightening pore line and these products cost 2350 pesos though i know that they sell individual products which are larger because this set that i was given um they are travel size so first i'm just gonna use this innisfree brightening pore serum Jeju Halabong Daily Skin Bright And yeah, you can already see the glow this brightening pore line is formulated with Jeju Halabong Peel Extracts and three vitamin derivatives which are vitamin B3 or niacinamide which is one of the best ingredients in skincare products. It brightens the skin so it treats dark spots and hyperpigmentation. It controls excess oils and sebum production within the skin and it is very gentle yet very effective. Next is vitamin C derivative which is a well-known ingredient when it comes to brightening the skin. And lastly is vitamin B5 derivative which suits and protects the skin. The next product that I will be using is this Innisfree Brightening Pore Spot Treatment. And I'm just gonna put this on my dark spots that I've been trying to lighten and clear up. product is the Innisfree Brightening Pore Priming Cream and this suits the skin with hydration. It has blurring effect. The texture of the cream is very lightweight and creamy. Like, it's just very silky. I use this as a primer because it is definitely compatible with makeup. And I'm just massaging my face upwards. Now I'm done prepping my skin. Let's move on to makeup. So first, I'll be using this Innisfree Skin Fit Glow Cushion. It has SPF 34 PA++, which is so great because you could protect your skin from the sun. When I first tried this, the base really looks like skin. It's not that matte. It's just really glowy and healthy looking. Also, the shade that Innisfree has given me really matches my skin tone. I am in the shade 23 N Ginger. A 
could say that this is medium coverage so if you guys prefer um, a makeup base that is not too heavy or literally just looks like skin this is really perfect because it's not even that detectable that you have something on your face so yeah it's really good for an everyday makeup look now I'm just gonna do my eyebrow routine off cam because you already guys know how I do my brows but if you don't know then I'll just link my eyebrow routine in the description box so yeah I'll be right back Okay, so I'm done with my brows and moving on to these products which are the main star of the makeup look that I'll be creating. These are the Jeju Color Picker Camellia Edition and these products feature warm and vivid colors of the Camellia flowers. First, I'll be using the Innisfree Jeju Color Picker Camellia Relief Lip Oil. doesn't have a sticky or greasy feeling it's just really pretty just put that so my lips will get the hydration that it needs next i'll just apply concealer to conceal my dark circles and blemishes Then I'll just set my face using powder. Okay, moving on to eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Innisfree Jeju Color Picker Camellia Eye Palette. It has nine shades. So first, I'll be taking this shade to prime my eyes. This is the Camellia Flower Powder. Next, I'll use this pinkish nude color to intensify my crease and this is in the shade Camellia Bud. I've noticed that this eyeshadow palette doesn't really have fallout and it is very pigmented. Next, I'll be taking this shade. This is in the shade Camellia Bouquet. Next, I'll be taking this brown shade. This is in the shade Camellia Branch. Next, I'll be taking the shade which is the Camellia Stain. Next is this glittery shade and this is in the shade Camellia Dew and I'm just gonna put it on the inner corners of my eyes so it'll brighten up my eyes. Also, I'll be putting this in here. Okay, next I'll be taking my beloved mascara. And I'll just use highlighter to highlight my brow bone. Okay, for blush, I'll be using the Innisfree Jeju Color Picker Camellia Blooming Blusher and this is in the shade number one, Red Camellia. Actually, they also have the other shade which is number two and that shade is like more on the pink side but mine is the red one and look how gorgeous this is like look at the pan it even has the camellia flower this blush is like a jelly type of blush and at the same time it is kind of powdery but the good thing about this is that it doesn't have fallout it is a very pigmented and finally for the lips i'll be using 
the Innisfree Jeju Color Picker Camellia Petal Tint. And this is in the shade 3 Camellia Beige. I really like this shade. This tint makes my lips smooth and blurred out. Okay, for the final touch, again, I'll be using this Innisfree Lip Oil. So my lips will look a little bit glossy and at the same time, it is filled with hydration. Okay, wait, I'll add more highlighter, especially on my nose. And yeah, this is the final look. I'm just gonna change my outfit. By the way, all the products that I've shown will be linked down in the description box, so make sure to check them out. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what video ideas you'd like to see from me next and I'll see you in my next one.